Welcome, it's Kat right here. Thank you for sticking with us through our two part video. This is table number two. In this table, we are going to be stripping. It's an outdoor picnic table. It's very old, but it's very, very sturdy. So we have um, two sanders here. We got the orbital sander. We got the belt sander and also the stain. This is a very durable table that we're gonna keep outside by our barn. I just wanted to explain a little bit of the difference between the sander. So this is the belt sander. It is one big belt that just kind of rotates. It is wonderful for big flat surfaces. It can be really meaty, it can do a lot at once. Then the orbital sander is obviously a lot smaller. It just kind of vibrates and it's much better for around corners, for in small little cracks, around small little edges, and just to a lot more detail oriented. Step one of redoing this table for outside is the sanding. I have the orbital sander, Josh has the belt sander, we're going to team up and go to town. Now that we've flipped the table over, the bottom part, the paint looks much, much better because it hasn't had as much weathering. So on this part, Josh is going to take that orbital sander and just knock off some of those rough parts and some of the burrs and this will be much quicker. So Josh is doing the wood burning on the dining room table and I'm going to be doing the sanding on the picnic table with the belt sanders. I'm going to be working on the benches. So I'm all done with the belt sander on the top of the benches so remember the belt sander is not very detail oriented it's really good for getting parts really really flat but for all the details and all the crooks and crannies you have to use the orbital sander so i moved um my benches over to the shade because where I was before the sun was coming in and it's really really hot out here so I moved these over here into the shade I am on the grass but now I just have to do the bottoms of the benches and the bottom of the table but like I said before this is not going to take as long because it hasn't isn't looking as much weathered as the top So one thing I noticed as I was sanding this is it's kind of wobbly. So I'm going to take a little pliers, go around to all these screws and tighten the nuts and bolts up. And if I have to, I can take a screwdriver or a, a drill and some screws and kind of put some extra ones in there to make sure it's not wobbly because it's feeling a little wobbly right now. One thing I also tried to do when I was doing the sanding is I didn't really do lots of sanding on the top or around the edges because I didn't want it to not be really thick down here. Didn't want it to be a bench that would tip over and throw people off. And also another thing is, is if this was like an indoor table, indoor bench, I'd take it apart and sand around because with the sander, I can't get into all these little corners, but honestly, I'm not really that worried about this because around the little edges, because this is an outdoor table and bench, and I just want to do a very, very good job, but not super, super detailed. So I'm out here on another Saturday morning to paint this picnic, picnic table and these two benches. So as you probably saw, I previously sanded these 
got them all cleaned. Now it's a nice new day. I'm going to paint them and let me show you the paint we have. So this is the waterproofing stain and sealer solid color. It is kind of a red color. I don't know if you can see the red tint to it in that little tiny spot right there and along here we got this at Home Depot. We're just gonna paint our picnic table. So I am all done with those two benches. That really didn't take me long. Now I just have to do the picnic table. This uh, will take a little bit longer than those two benches, but I'm sure I can get this done pretty quickly then I'll be done with this project. So now all I have to do is the top of this table. It is really nice weather out here right now because it's getting cooler, but just gotta do the top of the table and I'll be all done with this. You'll probably see this table pretty well. If you look here, it's not very flat because all the boards of this has been outside for many, many years. They're quite warped, but it's still quite a durable table and we're just gonna use it and keep it outside close to our fire pit. Hey, I am all done with this picnic table. I'm so excited about this because honestly, I was thinking of getting rid of this table because it was so old, but we we're just like, you know what? This is an awesome table. It's still very usable, so we we finished it, I got it painted, and now we're just gonna go put it over by our fire pit. So remember, work hard, play hard, we'll see you on the next project.